Kenosha's living legend, pro wrestler Ryan Cross. How you doing, my man? How you doing? Stay swole and swell, my fellow pioneers of human evolution. <laughs> so, going to be doing something uh, just a little bit different here today. Um, not going to be uh, going on a, a courier run, but actually I'm taking a run down to my, my buddy's uh, place called Sports Nutrition Standard down in Kenosha. He actually owns a, you know, uh, supplement uh, nutrition store and uh, you know, he's been tearing it up on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that but the one thing he doesn't have is a website yet so um, what I'm gonna be doing is just sitting down with him and going over a few options um, you know to put together a website for him something basic that he can you know get some of that general information out there instead of having to take phone calls all the time to answer basic questions so anyways um, again you know sun shining it's currently 42 degrees but expected to get pretty close to 50 uh, may not hit that because live again close to Lake Michigan, but uh, anyways, you know, it should be a productive day. So let's get to it. on the way down I gotta make a make a quick stop at quick trip and uh, get some fuel for the road so and by fuel I mean I'm going to uh, stop and get to, it's one of the only places that has kickstart on tap so you can actually get them in the uh, you know right, right off of the uh, I'm trying to think what the term is, but the, uh, you know, I guess it would be the tap. Anyways. Everybody's kind of got their thing in the morning, and uh, my thing is, is that I don't drink coffee. So what I usually uh, usually tend to go for is I get the uh, Kickstart by Mountain Dew and Quick Trip. Fortunately, they have it on tap at the, uh, the beverage center, so I can get a nice big cup. And also, definitely can't beat a French toast tornado in the morning. So, anyways, time to get back on the road.
Yeah, guys, I may not be, be uh, in the best shape as it is, but uh, a buddy of mine definitely knows everything there is about nutrition and sports fitness and stuff. And if you haven't uh, been to a store yet down at Kenosha, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool place called Sports Nutrition Standard. And a little plug for his info. He's got his, uh, got his car all wrapped, which is, uh, is pretty sweet. And here's his store. 262-752-SUPS. You can find them online at Sports Nutrition Standard on Facebook. Locally owned in Kenosha. Cool place, cool guy. Let's go in. A little inspiration on the wall right there as you first walk in. Here we are. What's up, my man? Kenosha's living legend, pro wrestler Ryan Cross. How you doing, my man? How you doing? Stay swole and swell, my fellow pioneers of human evolution. <laughs> so, but yeah, if you, uh, yeah. If you guys want to get some of the best sports nutrition advice and supplements and pretty much anything else you need help with, this is the guy to go to, locally owned in Kenosha. Great guy, great place. Check it out. Alright, anyways, just uh, leaving my buddy's store down in Kenosha. Again, check out uh, Sports Nutrition Standard uh, down in Kenosha. You can find him on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and a website coming soon. But uh, yeah, battery died on my camera while I was uh, doing the time lapse of us uh, uh, working on it. So just had to let it charge up for a little bit. But got a few other errands to run today. I'm um, going to be meeting up with my brother and his family. Uh, going to look at a house, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to you know, record that or not. Uh, you know you know for obvious reasons uh, somebody else's house and things like that but but he like said gotta gotta head back to milwaukee got about a half hour ride um a few other things i gotta do today so anyways let's get back to it making a uh, quick stop at the legendary brat stop in Kenosha Wisconsin to uh, uh, just got a little bit of other business I got to take care of today so uh, I'm gonna be in and out of here in a few minutes so I will get back to you in just a few alrighty well just finished uh, taking care of some uh, business down here and basically what it's boiled down to is uh, planning to uh, work with my my buddy cross on uh, uh, upcoming wrestling event uh, and just looking to see uh, if there's any open dates because it's a, a great venue and uh, yeah so wasn't as productive as I was hoping right now unfortunately the the main man in charge wasn't uh, wasn't here at the moment so I'm gonna have to try again but anyway so now I gotta head back up to Milwaukee got a few errands to run and continue on with that fun stuff so let me get back to it <laughs> I'm taking a quick stop at uh, Menards and uh, for those of you that don't know what Menards is it's uh, of course basically our more local uh, Home Depot uh, a lot better than Home Depot in a lot of ways just you know sometimes hit or miss on certain things but 
looking at getting a, a new fridge pro, uh, possibly and um, based off the dimensions I read online I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna actually even fit through the the door um, to actually get it into my house but anyways I want to do some uh, measurements on the actual uh, you know the floor model and see if with the doors off if it'd be able to you know get through sideways because unfortunately you know I have an older house has smaller doors not as wide as uh, I wish they were because things would be a lot easier if they were but but anyways uh, that's my mission so heading in and gonna do that so. all right now well, I just uh, finished up in Menards and uh, I don't know it looks looks a bit iffy uh, first job we're looking at getting those uh, 36 inches wide and it's, I think it's about uh, 33 inches deep which is interesting because our entry door that we have right now is only 32 inches wide so just doing some measurements to see if, uh, if I took off the doors if they would end up uh, you know if we could turn it sideways and fit it through the door or not so um, yeah so anyways uh, more more and more decisions more and more projects so, but uh, I think that's enough of my uh, errands I got to take care of this afternoon. Time to head home. Just a little rule of thumb to throw out there. Uh, if, if you're going to be making a right turn, turn on your directional, especially when somebody's waiting to, you know, get out of you know, an area. You know, you're sitting there, you're, you're driving slow as all hell down the, the aisle and then obviously you make a right turn when you can clearly see somebody's waiting for you to go by at least have the courtesy of you know turning your directional on so we know that hey you're going to be turning and you don't have to wait for me Ugh. I just got to, just got home. Um, got about an hour to burn before I'm supposed to meet up with my my brother and his family to go take a look at a house that they're you know, contemplating possibly putting an offer in. So, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video, and uh, hopefully I have something a little bit more interesting to show you in the future. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and all the fun stuff. And we will see you in the next video.